power supply is an important instrument for an electronic enthusiast. You can use it to test many circuits as it serves a wide voltage range. It can be used to determine the forward voltage of a high power LED, vary the speed of a DC motor and many more. Without further delay, let's jump right into it. The star of this circuit is this LM317, which is a variable voltage regulator. Before going into the detail, let's cover the things we'll need for this project. First thing first, we'll need a power source. I'm using this 12 volt 1.5 amp power supply module. Why specifically this rating? You'll get to know in a minute. Then followed by this voltage regulation circuit. Afterwards, the output can be connected to whatever load you want. Now coming back to the voltage regulator. It has three pins, adjustable, voltage out and voltage in. This voltage regulator can handle up to 1.5 amps max, according to the data sheet. Now you know why. Place the LM317 on the breadboard and make sure to screw a heatsink on it because this dude run hot. Connect a 1 microfarad and 0.1 microfarad capacitor to the voltage input and voltage output pin as per the schematic. Use a jumper to connect the voltage input pin to plus 12 volt and the ground pin to well ground. Now extend the jumper from the voltage output pin. Now an important thing here is to calculate the value of resistors. For that we definitely have a formula. Another important thing to notice is that the adjustable terminal current is way low, nearly 5 microampere. Microampere. So it is absolutely cool if we neglect it. For example, if you want your maximum output voltage to be 12 volt, then the formula can be simplified to a basic formula. I took R1 as 220 ohm and from that I got R2 to be 1.5 kilo ohm. Now arrange the two register in a voltage divider format with respect to the adjust pin of LM317. For visual I use a voltmeter whose positive terminal I connected to 12 volt and the negative terminal to ground and the voltage sense wire to the voltage output pin of the voltage regulator. Now let's give it a test. The minimum voltage is 1.5 volt which is limited by my voltmeter and the maximum voltage is 12.1 this is limited to the as per as the power supply you are using but the maximum voltage of our LM317 can handle is 35 volt beyond that it goes for a thermal shutdown let us use a DC motor as a load at 6 volt and measure the current as we raise the voltage the current also increases so does the temperature of the voltage regulator the linear regulator produces substantial losses when the voltage difference between the input and output is large. After a bit of calculation, the efficiency is found out to be quite terrible and with higher voltages it goes even worse. So to conclude, this type of voltage regulator are good when you want to drive small load. But there are certain advantages such as the linear voltage regulator is free of any switching noises having ripple rejection capability and its low voltage noise. By now we have learned quite a lot about voltage regulator and it's time to put it in enclosure which I'll cover in the next part. So stay tuned for part 2. Hit the like button, share this knowledge with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.